Many ActionKit clients have their own custom welcome series for new users. This video is a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your own. The options detailed in this video are just one potential setup. How you configure your welcome series is up to you. Creating a welcome email is similar to any other mailing with a few extra steps. To create a welcome email, we need to set up a recurring mailing. Recurring mailings in ActionKit replace triggers in other systems. Every recurring mailing has its own designated series, so before you create a mailing, you need to add a new recurring mailing series. From the Mailings tab, click the Recurring Mailings button in the right-hand nav, and then click Add a Recurring Mailing Series link. Name your series something descriptive and set the schedule type to daily. This setting tells the ActionKit platform to check each day for any users who meet the targeting criteria for the mailing you associate with the series. The mailing is only sent on a given day if there are matching users. Next, choose your time zone and select the time you want your email to send. If you check not the Notify Me When Mailings Finish box, you'll receive an email every time a mailing in this recurring series finishes sending. If you're sending daily, this could be a lot of emails. When you're ready, click the blue Save button to proceed. Each recurring series can have only a single active mailing at once. So if you want to have multiple mailings in your welcome series, you'll need to create a recurring series for each one. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll assume you already know how to create your own mailing content, but if you need help, please review our documentation on creating a mailing. For this example, we've decided we want to email people on the first day after their initial subscription. Completely new people, not people who have resubscribed for a second time. Action Kit comes with a default query in the query library called New to Database Users. If you decide you want to send to users who recently subscribed, regardless of whether or not they are entirely new, there's a new to list users query for that. On the targeting page, select new to database users query from the query library. Enter the number one to target people who were new as of yesterday. To make sure people don't receive our mailing multiple times, we can exclude everyone who's received a mailing in this recurring series for the past six months by adding people who recently received a recurring series query from the query library and entering 180. We want to add this to the excludes section. In this example, we put the value of recurring schedule ID as 1. In general, we can check the IDs that correspond to each recurring mailing series on the recurring mailing page. On the proof and send screen, you can select the recurring series you created in the first step. Click Make Recurring at the bottom of the page below the blue Send button. Select the recurring series we created and click Save, Schedule, and Continue Editing as a draft. You can also send yourself a proof on this screen. What's this? Looks like the Action Kit system is telling me I made an error. It's telling me that this mailing excludes the recently received recurring mailing query, but it is excluding recurring series 1 rather than 3 as expected. No worries. I can edit the mailing by going up to the targeting options, clicking edit, removing my existing query, and re-adding it with the correct recurring schedule ID. Looks like that error has been resolved. When you're ready to send, click the Start Recurring Mailing button and then confirm the send on the next screen. Your mailing will send every day at a specified time. 
to any users who joined in the past day. That's it. Thanks for watching our video.